welcome back. In the previous video, we discussed the tools to solve data science problems. In this video, we will look at the data science ecosystem. So let us get started. What is a data ecosystem? A data ecosystem is a collection of infrastructure, analytics and applications used to capture and analyze data. Data ecosystems provide companies with data that they rely on to understand their customers and to make better pricing, operations and marketing decisions. The term ecosystem is used rather than environment because like real ecosystems, data ecosystems are intended to evolve over time. Each organization has a unique data ecosystem. But why create a data ecosystem? Well, data ecosystems are for capturing data to produce useful insights. As customers use products, especially digital ones, they leave data trails. Companies can create a data ecosystem to capture and analyze data trails so product teams can determine what their users like, do not like, and respond well to. Product teams can use insights to tweak features to improve the product. Ecosystems were originally referred to as information technology environments. They were designed to be relatively centralized and static. There is no one data ecosystem solution. The best data ecosystems are built around a product analytics platform that tie the ecosystem together. Analytics platforms help teams integrate multiple data sources, provide machine learning tools to automate the process of conducting analysis, and track user cohorts so teams can calculate performance metrics. Now we will discuss the elements of data ecosystem. So there are three elements to every data ecosystem and these are infrastructure, analytics, and applications. The first element of data ecosystem is the infrastructure. If a data ecosystem is a house, then the infrastructure is the foundation. It is the hardware and software services that capture, collect, and organize the data. The infrastructure includes servers for storage, search languages like SQL and hosting platforms. Infrastructure can be used to capture and store three types of data, structured, unstructured, and multi-structured. Like the name implies, structured data is clean, labeled, and organized, such as a website's total number of site visits exported into an Excel spreadsheet. Unstructured data is data that has not been organized for analysis. For example, text from articles. Multi-structured data is data that is being delivered from different sources in a variety of formats. It could be a combination of both structured and unstructured. If ecosystems hold a large volume of data, they will need additional tools to make it easier for teams to access it. Teams may use technologies like Hadoop or not only SQL, that is no SQL, to segment their data and allow for faster queries. The second element of data ecosystem is analytics. Analytics serve as the front door through which teams access their data ecosystem house. Analytics platforms search and summarize the data stored within the infrastructure and tie pieces of the infrastructure together so all data is available in one place. While infrastructure systems provide their own basic analytics, those tools are rarely sufficient. A dedicated analytics platform will always be able to dig much deeper into the data, offer a far more intuitive interface, and include a suite of tools purpose-built to help teams make calculations more quickly. For example, while an application server might inform a team 
how much data their application processes. An analytics platform can help identify all the individual users within that data. Track what each are currently doing and anticipate their next actions. Only analytics can segment users and measure them with marketing funnels. Identify traits of ideal buyers or automatically send in-app messages to users who are at risk for churn. The third element of data ecosystems is applications. Applications are the walls and roof to the data ecosystem house. They are services and systems that act upon the data and make it usable. For example, a product team might decide to port its analytics data into its marketing, sales and operating platforms. This would allow the marketing team to score leads based on activity. The sales team to get alerts when ideal prospects engage and operations team to automatically charge customers based on product usage. So I hope that you have thoroughly understood the data ecosystem. In the next video, we will look at the role of machine learning in data science. Till then, stay tuned and stay safe. Bye.